Good morning, guys. How are we all doing? Welcome to the new trading week. I am Dan from Trading with Dan. Hope you guys all had a great weekend. This is our Bitcoin morning update. So if you guys wouldn't mind smashing that like button, we shall go straight over to those Bitcoin for our charts where there is not a lot going on. Um, we are basically smack bang in the in the middle of this range that we've got. Obviously, 18,500 to the bottom side uh, and then 20,000 to the upside side um looking like we're trying to uh trying to make some progress to the upside um but yeah we've got to take out this twenty thousand dollar level and then we should see a, a decent move towards 21 and a half um obviously the flip side if we lose eighteen thousand five hundred, i mean we could easily see uh, we could easily see pretty quickly uh, as low as uh, sixteen thousand five hundred, and then probably a bit lower uh, over time um we are going to be driven by whatever is driving the stock markets whatever is generally driving risk assets so um at present it's good to see that after uh, holding the holding this lower level of support uh rallying straight back up to our main resistance area pulling back and now we hopefully are going to try and uh, have another go at this um obviously uh we've got the uh, we've got trapdoor levels to the downside uh into 32 32 to 3400 which um it would be if we get down there uh it could be at least uh at least a a pretty good medium term low even if it doesn't prove to be the the ultimate low um but yeah nonetheless we could get a trapdoor down to here and then we'd probably expect a decent bounce but a lot of people are expecting that so uh potentially that was the move down and now we are going to start to move to the upside i mean We'll just have to see how it goes this week. Dollar index um, potentially looking like it could it could uh, play play some downside here. Um, so obviously got to take out take out this low we've got here. Um, if not, there is the resistance to the upside. If we get above there, then yes, there'd be another leg up, uh, potentially taking us up to uh, up to obviously these recent highs. Um, U.S. ten year just under four percent. Um, not looking not looking um, well not looking very bearish. I'd say. Uh, looking quite bullish so we've got to keep an eye on that because if it does take another pretty aggressive leg up then we are we are in trouble <laughs> to say the least um, the uh, pound against the dollar which uh, we are looking at the uk to be driving markets quite a bit um, we can see is, is is in a tightening range here high low lower high higher low lower high and then higher low tightening range i mean we could pretty much just draw it in because it it look it look quite nice um it looked quite good so yeah we are uh probably uh awaiting a break of this um which we are at the apex of um and is it to be to the upside or is it pretty much going to be uh to the downside uh it is hard to see uh it it being to the downside given how bearish it has been um but obviously anything can happen and um, this could be a strong bottom uh we could then break out of this to the upside and then yeah i mean we've got levels up towards uh uh realistically towards this 118 to uh one uh one spot one spot one spot 18 to one spot 19 um we'll actually draw a horizontal in here as well it's probably a bit of a of a resistance uh, area range um we will color we'll color that into um but yeah um i think if this does make this move up it will probably uh result uh in um in a further rally in the stock market and then obviously just risk assets generally so hopefully crypto will be going up with that as well um theorem satoshi parent trying to get back up, back up above this resistance area just testing it testing into it at the moment and, and similarly with the dollar dollar pairing trying to get into that trying to get above that uh, resistance area or it's probably acting in more support here uh trying to get supported by it then <laughs> shall we say uh four hour four hour stochastic uh good uh for some uh some more upside juice there uh 12 hour did turn up back down but looking to actually turn back up daily is not looking bad here at all kind of held a trend line there uh, and got plenty of room pointing up as upwards and plenty of room to move to the upside two day similarly uh, pointing up plenty of room to move up um three day is just about just turning over five day though looking to turn back up here uh weekly still pointing down um and then bi-weekly pointing down obviously monthly is pointing down but we can definitely see a lack of uh, downward momentum now coming into that um so i mean stochastics uh looking good for potential uh potential just testing to our resistance again do we break it um who knows um but i mean we test it a lot of times if we test it again obviously we've got a, a better chance of breaking above than we have previously just because the amount of times we tested it however if you do get rejected come back down 
Um, similarly, we'll have a good chance of breaking below this level if we do trade uh, lower. And we are we got to pretty much be expecting a pretty severe expansion of volatility uh, at some point soon. And then it's just a case of uh, is it going to be to the upside or is it going to be to the downside? Uh, so that is it guys remember this is not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor always do your own research and i shall speak to you guys soon